briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2003, a legal dispute rattled Louisiana's historical community when the ownership of a notorious landmark, the Confederate Museum, was contested in a tumultuous court battle. Memorial Hall Museum, Inc., MHMI, locked horns with the University of New Orleans Foundation, UNO, in a case that navigated the sinuous pathways of property law and cast a spotlight on an unassuming relic of the South's past. The origins of the lawsuit trace back to 1891, when Frank T. Howard permitted the Louisiana Historical Association, LHA, a predecessor to MHMI, to utilize the annex of the Confederate Museum. During a public address, Howard clearly communicated an intention to bestow the LHA with this privilege permanently, sparking claims from MHMI regarding ownership through donation or acquisitive prescription. However, evidence showed that the LHA never formally received ownership rights to the property and further complicated the issue by recognizing the Howard Memorial Library Association, HMLA, as the property owner in 1912. In the light of these facts, the court ruled that the MHMI could not substantiate any direct transfer of ownership from Howard or assert a valid claim through acquisitive prescription, a mode of acquisition that required undisturbed possession for a specific period. The lower court had made clear that for a rather labyrinthine case, the truth was uncomplicated. The property had been lent, not donated, to the LHA, and there was no instance of acquisitive prescription that could alter this reality. This ruling was appealed by MHMI, still insistent about their ownership claim. However, in a decisive turn, the appellate court affirmed the lower court's judgment, pointing out that the LHA, and by extension the MHMI, had failed to prove ownership through either modes under scrutiny, donation, or acquisitive prescription. Beyond the complexity of the case, the court arrived at a simple end. As per the law, the property was owned by those who could provide evidence of their rights. Since the HMLA had retained ownership before transferring it to UNO Foundation, the latter thus emerged as the rightful owner of the Confederate Museum. In the pages of Louisiana's legal annals, the verdict was set down. The past, however tumultuous, must yield to the evidence of the present. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.